Okay, let's talk about feathering. Feathering is something that happens up here in the options bar anytime you use one of your selection tools like the marquee or the lasso tools. And just to show you, if you're not familiar with this, this is what feathering of zero looks like, a nice hard edge selection. If I was to put in a feathering of, say, 25, and then make, it's still a rectangular selection. Watch what happens when I let go of the mouse. You'll see the corners get very rounded. And you can't really see the effects of feathering unless we do something to it. So let's make a selection here. Again, you see it starts off being rectangular because of the feathering of 25. It looks rounded. If I were to fill that, I'm just going to use a shortcut option, delete on the Mac or Alt Backspace, you can see that it fills it with a very gradual soft edge. So let's undo that and deselect. Put the feathering back to zero. So you can see that's what a feather of zero looks like. Now, I'm going to suggest to you that rather than putting the feathering up here and having to worry about it, I would always leave this at zero, make my selection, then add the feathering by either going to this command, oops, sorry, select menu, feather, using the shortcut command option D or control alt D, or what I often do, since I have my mouse here anyway, is I just control click on the Mac or right click on Windows and choose feather this way, and then you're adding feathering after the fact. That's all very nice, but the problem with feathering is knowing how much to feather because it's not obvious. For example, I want to make sort of a vignette effect on this photograph, so I make my selection, then I go to feather, and I basically sit here and stare at this dialog box trying to figure out what on earth to type in. So here's an alternate way if you're trying to figure out how much feathering to use. Make your selection and then go into quick mask mode. Quick mask is this button right here. You can see it's highlighting as I move over it. It puts this kind of overlay on top. And now what you do, instead of feathering, now we're going to use the Gaussian blur filter. Because we have determined that basically a Gaussian blur is exactly the same as feathering. In other words, if you put a Gaussian blur of 20, it's just like you did a feathering of 20. But now see how you're getting a nice preview of it. If you click and hold, this is before, this is now. Plus you can see the preview on the image itself. You can turn that on and off if you want. But basically now what it lets you do is determine how much feathering you want in effect by previewing it in the Gaussian blur filter. So let's say we want to use somewhere around there. We click OK. We now simply get back out of quick mask. Either press Q or go back to regular mode. Now you see I have a feathered selection. Let's press Command or Control J to put it up on its own layer and hide it. Now you can see we have that nice feathering effect. So basically all we're doing is instead of guessing how much feathering to use, we make our selection go into quick mask and experiment with feathering by using Gaussian Blur. Pretty simple, pretty effective. I'm Dave Cross. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy your summer. I know I will. See you next time.